Hi, Kalia. Thanks for joining us. We'll start with Annie Pascal from the Sun Times. Hey, Kalia. Um, happy early birthday, first off. Um, secondly, um, is this the biggest win of the season this year? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Is this the biggest win of the season um, for this team so far? Uh, no, I just think it's a, it feels good for us because it was, we had a lot of ugly games and we didn't win those ugly games. So we just came in locker room like, it's the first ugly game we've won. Um, so we just excited that we, we gutted it out and um, grinded it out and just came out on top. Yeah, speaking of, of just some of uh, the ugliness of it, shooting less than 35% in the first half and then finish shooting over 40%. What does this performance do as far as um, adding to that mental toughness that this team needs headed into the playoffs? It just gives us confidence. You know, we, we know we didn't play our best. Um, we didn't play our best. You know, we turned it over in the first half. We struggled. Um, but we, we just know we, we have so much, so much better basketball to play. And uh, we know we can just be so much better. So for us to win this ugly one, uh, it's really good for us, good for our confidence going forward. Allie has been such a spark for, for this team offensively since the Olympic break. And when they locked her up early, what was uh, the message amongst the team as far as, you know, finding that spark somewhere else? Uh, we just, we just like, we, we have so many weapons on this team. Um, you can't really hone in on one person. Uh, I think if it's not Allie's night, it's Sluice night. If it's not Sluice night, you know, like we got multiple players down the line who can contribute. And then as far as, um, you know, your performance goes tonight, you on, the, on one of those last drives, you put the team up by three and, and it was right before that last time out. And it just seemed like you had this mentality, like this one wasn't getting away from you guys. So personally, um, as you know, that final minute was coming to a close, where were you at mentally? I was just locked in on getting the win. Um, I'm super competitive and, um, I just wanted to do whatever I, I could do in order for us to get the win. Um, you know, we drew up a play, and I just wanted to be able to execute and put us up. Awesome. Thanks, Kalia. Thank you. Cheryl Rice Dow. Hi, Kalia. Congratulations on the game. Thank you. What was it like in the locker room at halftime when you were – when you were thinking about what happened in the first half, that was able to change what you did in the second half? Uh, we just talked about being more aggressive and just not turning the ball over. I think that was the, a major thing for us. We were just like, we don't want to give them extra possessions on because they were scoring. Uh, when we were turning it over, they were converting on those. So we just talked about not turning the ball over. When players like you score a career hard like this, it seems like you could say you were in the zone. Would that be a safe assumption to say you were in the zone tonight? Yeah, I was in the zone. How's it feel? It feels good. You know, it's my birthday, too. So, yeah, I feel real good. So it's like a full celebration of your birthday and what you were do on the court. <laughs> yes. How can you carry that over the next time you play Seattle? I think we, we just we just know that we didn't play our best basketball. So that's the, the really good thing for us. Um, we didn't play our best basketball. Um, and we came out on top, but we just know that um, we can't turn the ball over and we can't foul. So we're just going to go back to the drawing board, watch some film, and just see what we can do better. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Kalia. We'll have Azra Stevens up next. Hi. Hi. Thank you to Annie and Cheryl for burning the midnight oil here on a Friday night with us. <laughs> Start with Annie. Annie, you can go for it. Sorry, I couldn't figure out how to unmute myself. I'm a little tired. Um, just kidding. Sorry. Um, Azure, what is your assessment of um the turnovers in the in the first half? Um <clears throat> just lack of focus, honestly. Like we do that to ourselves a lot, just not being fully locked in. Um <clears throat> and a lot of our turn a lot of our turnovers come from that, I think, just not being fully locked in. So we just got to, you know, we're going to watch film, learn from it, and, and get better for the next game. 
And then Kalia talked about it just as far as um, some of these ugly games, not being able to like push through to the end and get the win. So getting this win tonight, how big is that as far as your guys' mental toughness goes headed into obviously what will hopefully be, um, you know, a playoff run? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, I think it just shows our maturity as a team and we didn't even play our greatest basketball. So um, it just shows that we're growing and that's a good place to be in at this point in the season with this stretch we have coming up to be growing in the right direction. Um, so we just got to build on it and keep doing what we're doing. <laughs> Um, they really came at you guys inside, and, and it seemed like watching the game, there was a, a bit of a, a lack on help side defense. So, you know, heading into this next game against Seattle, and then obviously you guys um, play Phoenix and then the Aces, who are also dominant inside. What needs to get cleaned up to not allow them to take over like that inside? Yeah, um, I think it's just a communication thing. Um, we got to be better on that. And we were a little bit better on that today, just for team morale sake, we were communicating more, but we still have growth with that. So we just got to communicate more and be on the, more on the same page. So that doesn't happen. And then how much um, were you all feeding off Kalia's performance tonight? Oh, a ton. <laughs> you know, we, we, we know Kyle can do this and it's, it's really cool just to be playing alongside her and just seeing her blossom this season and, you know, we got to see it last year, but it's just on a different level this year. So she was really huge for us tonight. Um, and we're all really proud of her every day, but a little extra today. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Cheryl? Esri, when you play a game like this, and you, then you got to play them again quickly in just a couple of days, how do you maintain and continue what you're able to do on the court even better? Yeah, I think just watching film, you know, we're going to feel good about this tonight. And then tomorrow it's, it's back back at it, watching film, seeing areas we can grow in um, and, and working on those things and then getting ready for the next game. You know, you got to have a quick, like you said, it's a quick turnaround. So we're definitely going to enjoy it. But then, you know, on to the next. Collectively, is this one of your best best performances of, of the season, particularly at the time that you're doing it? Um, I mean, I think it was still not our greatest basketball, but like I said, I think it shows a lot of maturity for our team. Um, we've been up and down all year. Like if this was a game in the first half of the season, like we would not have closed it out. You know, we wouldn't have found a way to just get it done. And that's just what you have to do sometimes. It's not going to be perfect. Things are going to happen. Like you got to just figure out a way to get it done. And I think that's a really, a really big sign for our team. Why do you think you now can win these games? Um, I think it's just all the work we're putting in, honestly, like sometimes when in life, sometimes I think you can be putting in a lot of work and things don't seem to be working out, but at some point they're going to click. If you're doing all the right things at some point, they're going to click. And I think that's just what's happening with our team. We've been grinding the whole three weeks we had off, you know, since then wins, losses, tough games, whatever, like we've just been plugging through and keep going and it's going to turn around, like it's going to turn around. So yeah, I think it's just credit to our, our team, our group we have. We, we're still believing in each other. People are counting us out, whatever. We're not listening to that. We're, we're staying together as a team, and we're pushing through it. And I think that's, I think, like, that's why we're, things are going to start turning around for us. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, Z. We'll have GM and head coach James Wade up next. Hey, James, thanks for joining us. We'll start with Annie. 
Hey, James, how are you doing? Um, I think you're muted. All right, that's it? Um, yes, I can I'm hear good, you. I'm good, Annie. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, is this the team's biggest win of the season? I would say so, um, because it's the, it's the one that we just had, <laughs> you know. <laughs> So I, I would say so. Um, and the next next win will be the next biggest. It will be the biggest. It's all about the game that's in front of us. But we're not, you know, we we know that this is a great team, you know, Commissioner's Cup champions. Uh, they've been leading in the West for most of the season up until now. They have three Olympian gold medalists, uh, four Olympians. Uh, so we, we know that this is a great team. So uh, for us to win here on the road is, is a big game for us. Um, the first half, the team shot less than 35%, but obviously turned it around um, to finish the game shooting over 40%. So from that aspect, what does this performance do for the team's mental toughness headed into what will, you know, be a, a hopeful playoff run? Well, I think it gives us some collective confidence, which is, you know, something that you, you need, especially at this time of year. Um, the fact that, you know, we have our full roster and, and we're able to, you know, go on this go on this road trip with with the full roster. It helps us out a lot. So, you know, collective confidence is what is is what teams need. Uh, that builds chemistry. That that builds camaraderie, and you know that that you know builds a, a a more unified front, especially when things go bad like they were in the first half. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're we're you know we're happy about that, and this is this this gives us some kind of reference as far as you know winning big games on the road and winning tight games on the road. So we'll, we'll try to build off of it. They put up numbers in the paint scoring. So, um, and it seemed like just watching there, there was, you know, um, some help side defense struggles or, or issues. So defensively, um, as you close out this road trip, what needs to um, change or just adjustments need to be made to, to help inside a little bit more? Uh, we just have to look at some, we have to look at some film and clean some things up, of course. Um, and um, it's, it's stuff that, you know, we, you, we look at film, we go over it, we, we explain what we need to do, we show them on the floor. And uh, hopefully we won't have the same, you know, miscommunications or, or miscues uh, that we had tonight. So hopefully we'll do better, but uh, it's just some stuff we have to clean up. Everybody is well, has well intentions, but sometimes you, you just have to see it. Um, and go over it and, and, and repeat it a little bit more, have more repetition of, of, of the things that we want to get done. Awesome. And then, sorry, last thing for me. Um, Allie has been such a spark offensively for this team since um, the Olympic break, I mean, all season. But when they, you know, shut her down early, what was your message to the team as far as getting other people involved, um, scoring, and, and just not letting it, it rattle anybody? Uh, I, th I think, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, we have a, a collective team. So Allie was, was filling it the last few games. And, and so what that does is it opens, opens up things for everybody else. So the team came in, they, they came in with a good game plan to stop Allie uh, and to stop Slute as well. And, and we thought they paid extra attention, but with Allie's constant moving and with the ball's constant moving, then we had multiple things that were open on the weak side. And so that's what, you know, we, we tried to preach for, preach to our team to really focus on and they did a good job of it you know having 24 assists and 29 shots uh, the only thing is is that I think we were too amped up in the beginning mm -hmm. throughout the game and we were a little careless with the ball which um, we'll, we'll hopefully won't be as careless uh, in, the, in, the, in a couple of days awesome thanks James thanks Cheryl Rysel hi James congratulations on the game thanks Cheryl could you talk about what Kalia was able to do? It seemed like she was on her game. And when she could score a career high like that, obviously it's, it bodes well as the games progress the rest of the season. I mean, she's the lead, you know, is, is seeing what, you know, we've seen for the last few years, her growth uh, and who she is and, and the things that she can do. Um, I think she's always had that confidence that, you know, uh, she could. It's, it was just her waiting for her opportunity. And once she got the opportunity, taking a hold of it. Uh, she, you know, doesn't have to take second to anyone. She's a, a important part of, of our, you know, team, our group, and the way we coach, the way we play. And uh, this is just who she is. And so uh, the fact, like, you know, you know, when teams pay more attention to Allie, when teams pay more attention to Sloop, 
this gives her one-on-one -on -one opportunities or teams closing out to her late. And, um, that's where, you know, that's when she's at her best, when you're closing out to her or when you, you know, you can't help but give her a step and uh, she's she's going to take advantage of that. Is it. Does it make it more difficult for your opponents then to start game planning against you because there's more weapons and if Kalia can have games like this, there's more uh, difficulties? Yeah, of course. And just like it's, it's difficult for us to game plan against, you know, three Olympic gold medalists, you know, like it's uh, it's it's the it's the job. And so that's why you see all the bunched up at, at five, six, seven, eight, nine, you know, because it's difficult. The, the WNBA is the best league in the world and they have the best players. And so each team that has this big threes, big fours, big fives or whatever, you, whatever you will, it's hard to game plan against them. And uh, teams have to pick their poison. And uh, we have to do the same thing. So, James, what was really neat to hear with both of uh, Azare and Kalia said this wasn't a perfect game. That they know that they have to improve for the next game. So obviously they have the great mindset for what's to come, especially playing Seattle back to back. It, these are the these are the best games for us to win because we go into our film study and we go into our practice with so many things to improve on, but you have that feeling that you won the game, uh, but you're not satisfied with it. So, you know, like, so we're, we're happy we won, uh, but we know we could have played a better game. And so, and they, you know, maybe they could have played a better game as well. So we just have to, we have to build on it and, and understand that this, we want to play better. We want to play better in a couple of days. Great, thank you for your time. Thank you. Annie, did you have another question? Yes, yeah, sorry, just one more quick one. One-on-one, um, -on -one, is Kalia, is there anybody better than Kalia taking defenders one-on-one? -on, -one? Uh, on our team or in the league? Um, in the league. Uh, no, I, I mean, she, she has the best first step that I've seen, that I've, you know, that I've actually coached. Um, her getting around the corners, it's just, you can plan for it, but you just don't know how uh, quick she is and how slippery she is. And it's, uh, and it's, it, and it's really nice to have that on my side because I, I, I hate to coach against it. <laughs> I would hate to coach against it. I'll tell you. Um, and sorry, one more quick one. Um, her men mentality in that last time out, what was um, like, just wh wh where was she at? Uh, the Kalia is always focused and engaged. So uh, she was just ready. She was just ready. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. You're the best for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow after practice. Have a great Thanks, rest guys. of your night. Take care.